Hello, my name is Nikki. I just came back from a trip in India, which is nine and a half hours from my current time zone, which is Atlantic Standard Time Zone. And that is a nine and a half hour difference. So I've been up actually since around one in the morning, literally just on TikTok. And you know, this is the time of my life that I get my shit together. I feel like I gave myself a lot of leeway in March just to kind of exist. And now it's time for me to like get back into habits that I know are good for me and that will serve me well in the future and that I like doing, but I just didn't have the energy for them. Like, you know, you know, my main rules for today and I'm gonna be explaining this in the vlog is like how to get your life together when it's like falling apart. And you know, the best thing about that is that you have a blank, Late. Like you can do whatever you want at this point. Let's get into it. I just connected my mic so I hope my audio sounds better but I will mention a funny story. When I was in the airport, in case you can't tell from my voice, I'm sick. So I went to the pharmacy to find lozenges. I go up to the pharmacist. She takes me to the lozenges and then she's like, oh but for your acne you should use this product. And she also offered me like a face wash and I was like, I didn't even like realize that my acne was so ugly. <laughs> Not that saying acne is natural and I really do break out usually when I'm traveling, but like this is me without any makeup. Like I didn't think I used this last night and it was calming, I guess. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> but actually though, like I used this last night for the first time and it's like really clear, but I don't think I can find this in America. <laughs> so whatever. So we're doing pink today. I can't like show you me in the mirror because my room is a disaster which is on my to-do list to clean up today. Like literally like gasp. So even my desk is a mess. We're not, we haven't been doing well. We were not doing well before this trip. I'm gonna be honest with you. I brain dumped everything into this little notepad. This is from Coffee Monsters Co. This is part of, I think, one of her subscription packs that I ordered. And I just basically wrote literally everything that I could possibly think of. And during the day, this will probably get longer. It really helps for me just to have like a blank notepad because I can move this around, carry this around, tear this out and walk around with it. And later on, just paste it in my notebook. I actually do want to start using, you know, my good old trusty cousin, which got a new sticker, which is the Germany one. I never get to choose you. If you know, you, if you're not, you're not. <laughs> but I really haven't kept up with it and I want to paste mementos that I got. I also just remembered I'm starting a new book today, Ensnared. I actually need to finish Apple, which has its own vlog, which I'll need to update later, but I put it down for two weeks and now I'm gonna pick it up again. So <laughs> a lot to do today, but now looking at my brain dump, I can take my planner and see where it would fit best. And I think I'll do that in pencil just because like it is so early and I am jet lagged. So I might, you know, fall asleep in the middle of the day and then like my plans will get changed, but I'm trying not to sleep today so that I can have like a normal sleeping schedule come tomorrow. So I do recommend this, like whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, brain dump everything you think you need to do. Even if it's as simple as putting on a new screen protector on your phone and like making your bed, which I do have to do. My bed is still pretty messy. Ah, make bed. And then kind of look through it. And there's actually like the Eisenhower matrix is pretty useful for this, which I'll put a photo of it like that. But I kind of like conceptualize my to-do list like that. Now time to organize that into that and get my day started. So I wanted to like stop in and give a little update. I'm only like one third of my way and I am dying. And like, I initially started the workout with like the workout routine I was doing before I stopped doing any sort of strength training. And I am so out of shape. So I ended up going to a beginner workout routine that I'm gonna follow for a month to get my conditioning back. And I just think like, that can be super, super discouraging. And I just want to get out there. If you are someone that's on a fitness journey or trying to get healthier, like it can be so hard when you stop get back on the ball but it's important to like know where you're at and also know that like you will get to where you were at before or even surpass it let me finish the workout and then i'll continue with my day <laughs> So now I showered and I'm gonna just get ready, put makeup on, look, you know, alive, fresh, since I don't feel too alive and fresh. But I have all my stuff out already here that I just have to put away and figure out a home for, because everything has a home. 
I will say this is like the coolest product I've used recently and it's a lip liner stay in by Satchu and it's basically a peel off lip liner that lasts a really long time and I like it because I just put this on it lasts all day and I have like lip liner on you know what I'm saying it looks crazy but as soon as it dries it leaves like a really pretty pink color that I like layering it under a lip gloss or something And then if I just put like a lip gloss on it, that's it. got my iced coffee and I'm gonna sit down to start working by work I mean like doing my like you know my things I feel like this plant that I have right here that's like dying let me get it this plant that I have right here that's like half dead is kind of a metaphor for like my mental state in the last couple of months unfortunately I <laughs> It's really going through it and like I'm tired of just like existing surviving because that's what this plant did survive because I did not water it like honestly like like I had to like prune a bunch of dead leaves unfortunately but like it was my fault and like you know he's forgiving me Dale is forgiving me Dale the kale just kidding he's not a kale he's a watermelon plant like watermelon leaf plant because like the leaves look like watermelons but either way I also wanted to talk about Ensnared, which I finished two days ago in like a like jet lagged haze at like from 11 to 5 a.m. And it was a wild ride. It was not at all what I was expecting. The book, it's marketed very much as a monster romance erotica basically and it's not <laughs> like it is but it's like not the main focus like the like I guess like slight spoiler but not really like the the main characters have sex like at the 80% mark you know and like it's a lot but I feel like there was a lot of build up and like the world building was really creative and detailed like there was even a language which like for me like that's like what like really impressed me language a religious system like you see both characters being really fleshed out and like their own traumas and problems like being highlighted which i think is great and i was really impressed by her writing style or like their writing style i'm not sure of their pronouns but i am really excited to read more by tiffany roberts and i want to continue the series because like if i just close my eyes he's like not an arachnoid <laughs> Uh, I did not see that on my bingo card this year, but you know like I read this with um, Katie who's an author Her book is actually coming out in May. I've read it. It's really good and um, Valerie from literary paper and we Are kind of like doing just like a monster romance like book club so that we can like explore books that are like outside of our comfort zones And like this one it was good. It was good. Like I was really impressed and surprised by it it was long though, so yeah. The only thing I would say is like stick to at least page 50 if you start this book because it takes a while to get into it. With that,
I am so impressed by myself. So I didn't show it on camera, but I added this and a pack of Truvia. It's just like Stevia. But I imagine any sugar would work. It's up to you want, but like, this is so good. Like, I'm so obsessed. Good job, Emma Chamberlain. So I wanted to sit down, talk about my appointment with my psychologist yesterday because I've been going to therapy because I believe in therapy and I think that most people should go to therapy. My psychologist basically told me after like our session and I was talking about how I was frustrated that I wasn't building routines and how I felt undisciplined. She was like, but Nikki, you're on vacation. You are allowed to have fun. And I was like, what is fun? So I'm trying to figure out what fun is. And I feel like this is beating the purpose, but like I need some direction. So I realized today that I haven't really been keeping up with the Romanceopoly readathon, which is a year long readathon where you read romance books. I thought this would be a good way to like incorporate fun. And additionally, other than just this, I'm gonna be gaming. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to have some fun. And I think like just going forward, I'm gonna just pick a book like this. That way I can get through my TBR and also just like, you know, have fun. This is like a really cool readathon. If you haven't joined it, you can. Readathons are like good ways to keep yourself accountable to read. And romance is my favorite genre to read and write. So, Passion Place. Read a slow burn or instant heat contemporary romance. I don't know what it could be. I'm actually just gonna like ask on Instagram if anyone has a recommendation. I'm in the same place, but I went to Pilates, I did my things, I scheduled my Kindle Vela story, everything like that, and now I picked the book. So I'm gonna be reading Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I heard it's a slow burn from Belisa Renee, and it's been on my list for a while. This is actually a gift from Belisa for my birthday like two years ago, so I, I'm sorry I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited to read it. She said she would eat her shoe if I don't like it, so I have high hopes for this book. Okay, so I'm gonna read and get into it and then maybe game. I don't know, I'm pretty tired. Honestly, I would go to sleep early today. I'm like a very much like an early bird these days. <laughs> So I wanted to end off this vlog with, you know, a little update on Get a Life Chloe Brown and what I think about it. You're gonna have to stay tuned to next week to see if I actually like it a lot because so far I do really like it. I think that like Talia Hilbert has an amazing, amazing, amazing writing style and she is so, so funny. And I'm not someone that particularly likes contemporary romance or like reaches for it, but this book I feel like has just this universal appeal. I will say it, it is like British. I didn't know that she was British, but Talia Haber is British, so the humor is a very like British dry humor, so if you find that funny, then I think you'll definitely find it funny. But like literally like the orange is when I think the guy's funny, and the yellow is when I think the girl's funny, so both of them are so so funny. And it's very steamy when the I read this as a slow burn, and I do think it's a slow burn because I think it'll be like they'll be the whole book before they actually get together, but definitely like building up the tension, which I really really like. But this week I was just dead to the world, if I'm being honest. I ended up also getting my moon this week, so I was, you know, just chilling out in my super hyper fixation about Star Wars. I've been making like fan edits and everything on a secret account on TikTok because I've just been into it and I don't know. I think that next week is the week I get it together mostly because I do have a lot of stuff to do next week. Like next week I launched the first chapter of my Kindle Vela story but I was just like dead to the world if I'm being honest. Really enjoying Jedi Fallen Order uh, which is a game that is about our main character Cal and he was a Padawan. So if you don't know, Padawan is like the apprentice of a Jedi. And during Order 66, and Order 66, if you don't know, is when they killed all of the Jedi and like the even the young ones. And he's been in hiding for like four or five years after the fall of the Republic. And he gets discovered because he ends up saving one of his friends and the people who are called the Inquisitors are after him. And I've also been like really into Star Wars. Oh my God, I finally finished season five and like that season five ending was like insane. But yeah, I've been in my hyper fixations. I think that one of the things that 
I worked on in therapy this week was learning how to have fun, learning how to enjoy myself without like gamifying it or like commodifying it almost so that's really what i was working on this week and also just like resting when you have been like on a like high adrenaline like alertness stage for months and months and months years even your like autonomic nervous system nervous system just like collapses the minute that you really allow yourself to relax so i've just been going into that so my goals for next week and you'll have to watch next week's vlog to see finish this book but also finish all about love by bell hooks not get my life together because my life is together but like lean into my life and like feel good so yeah I'll see you next week and bye.